Yes, I'm back. And right now, we're here to talk about this, uh, of course, situation of, once again, white privilege in a, in a dominant system of white supremacy. It says, a, a, an article in the description, by the way. It says, a judge spares prison time for an entitled white student who admitted to his quote, I raped that bitch because she rejected me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people be talking about melanoid people with low self esteem. I think Europeans have the worst, the lowest self esteem out of any ethnic group in the world. Because y'all quick to kill a, a chick, rape a chick, do any type of savage, demonic actions to a chick. Who don't want you? Who, who what you mad? Because she don't want your little grain of rice that you call a penis? Like, like it's plenty of, like I tell people, man, there's plenty of pussy out here. Like lame motherfucker out here is getting pussy. Like, it's not that hard. But I digress on this fuckboy for a moment and continue to read the article. It says yet another case of white privilege and entitlement played out in a Colorado courtroom Wednesday when a judge decided to spare an admitted rapist for serving time in prison. Border District Judge Patrick Butler sentenced 22-year-old Austin James Wilkinson to 20 years to life on probation plus two years in Border County Jail on work release program that would allow him to leave the facility, attend work or class, then return to jail in the evening. Man, but you know, I, I'm just playing victim according to some people because uh, there's no such thing as white privilege. Get the, shut your ass up. According to the Daily Camera, the former University of Colorado student was convicted of sexual assault. All right, let's pause right there. Could you, we, like I told y'all in my previous, one of my previous, we got to pay attention to how they flip words and use different words because wording is very important. Because when it comes to, um, if he was a man of melon, if he was uh, ISIS or anybody, anyone other classified as white, they would have just been saying rape, 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 rape. But when it comes to Europeans, it's sexually assault. Get the fuck out of here. Continue. A helpless victim in a lawful, unlawful contact in May. The sexual assault charge carries a prison sentence up to 12 years, which he won't serve. But under Colorado law, the count is subjected to indeterminate sentencing, which means Wilkinson will be forced to sit in a jail until a judge saw fit to let him out. The Daily Camera reports, I've struggled to be quite frank with the idea of do I put him in prison, Butler said. I don't know that there is any great result for anybody, Mr. Wilkinson, deserving to be punished, but I think we all need to find out whether he truly can or cannot be rehabilitated. That's that that little fucking paragraph alone just says white su white supremacy size privilege right there. It says it's struggling to figure out if he needs prison time when he clearly not even he admitted he strong armed her for the pussy. And y'all really it's really bothering your thought process. It's really like a difficult decision. Well, should we give him prison? Does he need help? Like, get the fuck out of here, man. This shit really be pissing me off. Because, like, it, it just shows you the privilege you have in this sick, demonic country as long as your skin is white. Like, that's fucked up. And, of course, no one cares about the victim. Because you already know my questions after I'm going to read this article. Well, hold on, I'll, I'll get to them questions. Let's continue. Look, it's a sexual assault. A first... Year female student on March 15, 2014, after telling the drunken woman friend that he will look after her and make sure she's okay. See, ladies out there, if you listen, never trust a creepy ass motherfucker. I don't care if he white, black, never trust a motherfucker saying, Well, I'm gonna take care and look him when you intoxicated. Make sure you always with your female friends. Call an Uber. But to do what you gotta do, just don't leave him in the hands of a sick, savage stranger like this motherfucker. Continuing, he's made certain his roommates 
saw him checking her pulse and temperature, giving her water. Probably she said after the assault, he sent a message to the victim's friend who then thanked him for carrying the victim. According to the garden, Bogus initially denied his heinous actions, at, uh, but later admit that he digitally and orally penetrated the young woman. And, uh, and he wasn't getting much response from her. He also texted his friends to detail the non-consensual encounter bragging that he had left his hands wandering and fingering a girl while passed out. <sighs> God damn, these savages are just taking this shit to a whole nother level. Before his trial began, however, Wilkins to backtrack and said the assault began as consensual. He changed his story once again during trial by testifying the woman was never intoxicated and passionately engaged in sex with him. The defendant raped a helpless young woman, tried to cover up his crime, then repeatedly lied about what he did, including under oath. What makes the case even more disturbing that Wilkins reportedly told investigators he had made a number of sexual advantages toward the victim, but was rejected. According to Raw's story, prosecutors said the rebuff pissed Wilkins off and he referred to the young woman as a fucking bitch. The former Colorado State student apologized to the victim who is now 21 during the court. I'm sorry I penetrated I excuse me, I I'm sorry I have perpetrate perpetrated the cycle of sexual assault caused him to say my actions can never be undone. And I'm gonna just stop right now for like reading the rest like I said it's in the description. But you already know the questions I'm gonna ask. Once again, where you at? CNN, MSNBC, Nancy Crimson, Chen Grace, Bill O'Reilly, Tommy Lauren, HLM, Dr. Drew. Where the fuck y'all at? Because when when there's other people, when it was uh, uh, Pill Cosby, quote unquote, who didn't do a damn thing, only wrongdoing he did was cheat on his wife. When them victims were paid and came forth, y'all was ready to crucify him. Where you at, feminist group? See, this is what we talk about. Feminist group, y'all racist. Man, because every time someone of color does some fuck shit like this, y'all quick to hang them on the, on the uh, fucking noose. But when it comes to your European counterparts, well, this was just an isolated incident because he was mentally unstable. And we don't really think he needs much jail time. We're just going to put him on probation and... Make him see a therapist to rehabilitate, rehabilitate his mind. Shit, get the f I hate you. I hate all. I hate the government, the media who works with the government, feminist group. Y'all can eat a dick and die slowly. Fuck all y'all. I hate y'all. Because y'all never say shit when it comes to your European counterparts doing fuckery. But when there's other people out here doing some foul shit, y'all want to just... Uh, Ruin their image, just put their expose their business. What about this? What about the victim? That's what I'm saying. Fuck this piece of shit. He's event karma's gonna come back on his little European punk ass. Fuck him. The real what about the victim? Like y'all totally disregard the victim when it comes to Europeans doing fuck shit. Like this is what Tariq and all us be talking about, the system of white supremacy. They don't care. They will make blood sacrifice. They'll kill each other. They'll rape each other. They don't care. They're willing to make blood sacrifice. That's why we need to replace the system of white supremacy with the system of justice. This is what we be preaching about. This is fucked up. But, like I said, the article's in the description. I hope this sick demonic savage gets what he deserves coming up to him. Sam, if I was that girl, I'd send some goons to this house something. He wouldn't just be able to walk around like everything's all peachy if he would have done this to me or somebody in my family. Oh, hell no. He would have, like a dirty diaper, he would have got changed real quick. But let me know what y'all think. Like I said, article description, read it, analyze it, leave me your thoughts, get in the comments, like, subscribe, share the video.